Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can find the x and y intercept of a quadratic equation or a parabola as the quadratic equation is graphically a parabola. So how do we come to know that what is, what is the quadratic equation? Quadratic equation is an equation where the power of x is 2. So here we, we have the power of x is 2 or square. So this is a quadratic equation. We, in the previous lecture we have seen the linear equation having the straight line graph, graph and the quadratic equation has a curve that is parabola. So when we plot it on the graph, we will get a parabola. So let's see how we can find the x and y intercept in a case when you have the quadratic equation. So x intercept is basically the point where the curve or the line cuts the x axis. So on the entire x axis, we have y is equals to 0. That is a very important point to note. So we will write here y is equals to 0. And on the entire y axis, we have x is equals to 0. So we have to put these values in the given quadratic equation. So let's do this as we have 2x square minus 7x plus 3 equals to 0. So here we ha already have e uh, uh, equation having the uh, value of, uh, of y equals to 0 as this is actually the f of x that is equals to y. So y is equals to 0 we have put here. 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is a quadratic equation so we have to factorize it to get the values of x. So let's factorize it as 2x square minus 6x minus x plus 3 equals to 0. Do tell me in the comments if you have any confusion regarding the factorization here. Then we will take 2x as common then x minus 3 minus 1 is common and x minus 3 equals to 0. We will get 2x minus 1 and x minus 3 equals to 0. So what will be what will be the value of x here? One value of x will be 2x minus 1 equals to 0. That is x is equals to 1 by 2. And the value of other x will be x minus 3 equals to 0. That will lead to x equals to 3. So here we will get two points. Keep this in mind in the quadratic equation while finding the x intercept we will have two points. It means it cuts the x axis at two points. So what will be the two points? 1 by 2 and y will be 0 and another point is 3 and 0. So these are the two points that are very important to keep in your mind while, uh, while plotting the uh, on the graph so that we can have the x intercept. Now let's find the y intercept. Now y intercept will be 1. Here x intercept we have two points but in y intercept we will get only one point. How? Let's see. So 2x square minus 7x plus 3 equals to y. As we know that we have to put x is equals to 0. So what we will get is 0 minus 0 plus 3 equals to y and we will get y is equals to 3. So what will be the points? Points will be 0 and 3. Keep this in mind while writing the point always write the x point first then the y1. So these are the x and y intercept of the given quadratic equation that we have found algebraically. Now let's see how you can find it graphically. We have to take the random points but we will prefer to take the points that we have found in x and y intercept. So we'll start from, from if we have x as 0 0.5 or that is given in the x, first x intercept then what we will get? We will get the y as 0. So if we have the x as 1 we will have the y. Th these points can be uh, taken by just putting the values of random values of x in the given quadratic equation. So if I put 1 in the given quadratic equation I will get 2 minus 7 that is minus 5 minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. So the y will be minus 2. Then if I put the value of x as 2 in the given quadratic equation what I will get it will be minus 3. So if I put the value of x as 3 what I will get I will get 0 and if I put the value of x as 4 what I will get is I will get 7 here. So let's plot these points on the graph and we will see what shape we will get. If x is 0 0.5 then the y will be 0 it means it will this is the first x intercept the point where the curve cuts the x axis so this will be the point this is the first x intercept that is 1 by 2 and 0 then we have 1 and minus 2 1 is the value of x and minus 2 is the value of y 
so this will be the another point then we have 2 and minus 3 this is another point then we have 3 and 0 this is another x intercept so we will have to plot it at this point then we have 4 and 7 that is if x is 4 then y will be 7 it means we have to plot it somewhere at this point so if i join these points what i will get let's see so this is somewhat like this and if i draw the y intercept as well y intercept is the point where this parabola will cut the y axis the point is basically 3 0 that is this this point that we have found in the y intercept this point so i'll join it now as like this so this is the shape of the parabola that we get from the given quadratic equation so keep this in mind that the quadratic equation will give us a parabola and the parabola will always have two x intercept and y and one y intercept it depends on the equation given it is not necessary that we will have the x in, uh, we will always have the uh, two x intercept it depends on the position and the direction of the parabola so here we will we we were having this is an x intercept this is another x intercept and this is the y intercept so these are the points where the parabola is cutting the x and y axis so this is how you can find the x and y intercept of a quadratic equation that will form a parabola algebraically and graphically so that's all from today's lecture thank you